Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17.2 Beta 2. It's been more than a week that Apple has released the iOS 17.2 and I have been using it on my device. Unfortunately, I was not able to cover up all the iOS 17.1 and iOS 17.2 updates for you guys because I was not well and I was not at my studio, so I'm really sorry for that. Anyways, let's get right into today's video and talk about what's new in this update. How has been my experience using iOS 17.2 beta 1? And when is the iOS 17.2 beta 2 is going to be released? My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys. And if you are into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Alright, beginning up with the battery life. The battery life on iOS 17.2 has been pretty good for me. Like for a beta, it has been really good. But uh, I wouldn't really suggest you guys to install this update because it is definitely worse compared to iOS 17.1. So if you are really concerned about battery life, you should avoid installing this update as of now because it is on beta 1 and betas are just notorious to have really bad battery life. And so does this update. The battery life is pretty good for a beta, but it is not to a part that I would suggest you guys to install it. Also, talking about new features and changes, this update has been really disappointing in terms of that. There aren't any big changes or new features as of now in this update. There are some changes, but those are really minor changes. For example, if you go in settings, the iCloud section, the iCloud recommendation is a bit tweaked. Then remember the magnifier thing that I told you guys since the beginning of iOS 17, when you st used to take a screenshot and there was a magnifier when you clicked on plus icon that has been not arrived on iOS 17.2 as well. I have no clue since the day one of iOS 17. No one has noticed this, but I have always, always mentioned this in my videos that magnifier is not a part of iOS 17, but still Apple is just refusing to not add magnifier as a part of screenshot UI again. Let me know down in comments below, did you use magnifier off screenshots UI or am I the only one who used to use that magnifier feature? Then talking about the performance, the performance seems to be pretty good on iOS 17.2. I have not had any hiccups or any lag on my device. On iPhone 12, I did notice that there was a bit of a thermal heating going on. But yeah, iPhone 12 for some reason does not really handle the heat that well on any beta of iOS 17 that I have been using. Since the day 1, iOS 17 beta 1 to iOS 17.2 beta 1, the heat issue is present on iPhone 12 particularly. I mean, even on my iPhone 11, it does not get that warm how warm my iPhone 12 gets. This is a bit too surprising because some of you guys are also experiencing this and I don't know why people are just not talking about it that much. But iPhone 12 is getting really warm on iOS 17 betas. So if you do happen to own an iPhone 12, just avoid installing the betas of iOS 17. Now, let's talk about connectivity. Wi-Fi bug is still present on iOS 17.2 beta 1. Wi-Fi bug, what do I mean by this? Even if your Wi-Fi is available and you have turned on the auto connect feature of your Wi-Fi, even then your iPhone won't connect to your Wi-Fi. Yeah, that is a really irritating and frustrating bug. I have noticed this happen to me about three times in the past one week so obviously like a normal person whenever i used to come back home from my college i expect that my wi-fi gets connected to my phone automatically right but that did not happen for some reason and now i have got to know that this is definitely a bug and after recharging my device then also I was getting this issue. So yeah, this is not something limited to my device, but it is an iOS bug. So since Apple is on a two week cycle, I would expect Apple to release it on Tuesday. Today, the day I'm posting this video, it is Sunday and Apple will most likely release this on Tuesday, which means on 7th, Apple will most probably release the iOS 17.2 beta 2. 
anyways i will be letting you guys know through my videos and via my twitter so you can follow me link is below the like button you can follow me on my twitter and obviously i will be coming up with a lot of videos for you guys so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off peace out and have a great day everyone